Hello everyone, welcome back to the gaming flow and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix lethal company is having audio or sound is not working or it is crackling distorted issue which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we have to do a restart on your PC. So just go over here in the uh, window icon just go to the power icon over here and go for restart once the restart is done try launch the game and that will be working fine so we have to start with a simple restart and this even worked for many users so we can try this out if that is not the case don't panic we can move to the next one that is all about we have to check the volume mixer so if we go over here at the bottom you can see there is a volume icon so if we click on this one the sound is set into 33 percentage but this is fine because even you can hear a little bit but sometimes accidentally we end up in keeping the sound to 100 percent i mean mute completely and we try to launch the game and we play the game and we complain there is no sound so just cross check whether the uh, sound is being set into 100 percentage or not you have to set this to 100 percentage which means you have to do a simple cross check on your volume mixer once afterwards next one is all about we have to select the right audio device that's why which i said in the last video so just go over here in this particular icon go for the settings icon gear icon over here and navigate to sound now from here we have output as well as input so the output should be selected first because that is what we are hearing so here i have selected the output that is two usb audio device that is my uh, output so that is my correct right speaker so that which i selected I need not click anywhere over here which will be resulting in the audio issue so I have selected the right speaker for the output so we have to select the right speaker for the output that is very important or else we'll be having these kind of issues with the sound and also it is quite important that you have to make sure that you set the volume to 100 percentage so here I also have set the volume to 100 percentage now once you're done with this one just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is make sure the sound sample rate is 48 or 44 kilohertz in the control panel so just go over here in the search you have to navigate to control panel over here now from here navigate to hardware and sound go for sound over here now you have to go to the speakers select the speaker right click and go to the properties go to the advanced Make sure that you have selected the right one. You can either select 4400 Hz or you can select 4800 Hz. It depends on you and you have to select the right one. That is very important. And also parallelly, I would like to make you notice one more step which is called turning off the spatial sound. Hence we are in the same uh, way I will be showing you. Just go to the from the advanced if you go to the spatial sound. Make sure this is turned off. So after setting the sound sample rate to 48 or 44 kilohertz, you can set the spatial sound and you can set this to and uh, turn off it and once afterwards just go for everything okay and close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about we have to disable the oculus voice meter so just go over here in the search we have to navigate to the control panel now from here go to the hardware and sound navigate to sound we just need to navigate to the sound so right now as you can see under these speakers there are many things but sometimes for the users you can find oculus over here so if oculus is there just disable it if it is enabled we have to disable it disable the oculus and once afterwards just close everything this as well you can close this and try launch the game next one we have to install the audio device like i said you can either install or update the audio device just go over here in the start right click and go to the device manager now from here you can navigate to sound video and game controllers Go to the USB audio device, right click and go for update driver. Search automatically for drivers, which is very important. You have to update it. And keep in mind, this is a very important step. So just update it and once afterwards, try. Next one, we have to verify integrity of game files. So just go over here, right click and go to the properties. Go for install it file and we just need to go over here and the verify integrity of game file. So this is going to take a lot of time because this will cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this and this is very important and you can try this out as well and these possible workarounds can be done when you come to this i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye